Hello, and God bless, Beaks. I'm Alan Woods of Woods Speed Company, and today I want to show you the latest half on the markets that's creating a real buzz, and for a good reason. This is the Hive IQ, and no, this is not an unboxing video. The reason I have this is to show you how compact this Hive is packed in this single box. But in this video, I want to show you how to paint and assemble this Hive, and then I'll show you some of the integrated features built into it. And then you'll see what all the buzz is really about. So with that being said, let's unpack this box and get started. Okay, Beaks, the Hive IQ is an Australian design expanded polystyrene hive that uses the standard Langster frame. When unpacked, you will see an unassembled hive top which consists of a pressed metal cover as well as a polystyrene body. You'll also see a metal queen excluder. You get a set of three non-frame unassembled beat boxes and components as well as the hive base and its components. You'll also get an, inst an instruction manual to help you put all this together. But before I show you how to assemble this hive, we need to paint this hive first. All right, so I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna show you uh, what type of paint to use for this hive and how to paint it for the best appearance. So if you give me a few minutes, I'll be right back with you. Okay, Beaks, now we're ready to paint. When painting the hive, we're going to use a water-based exterior paint, right? That will actually prolong the life of your hive. But when painting, right, we have to remember the rules are the same as painting a traditional hive. You only paint the outside and not the inside, right? So what I'm gonna do uh, as far as painting, I'm gonna paint the box one color, I'm going to paint the lid and the hive base a different color. Now what I want to show you is on the top, I'm only going to paint the sides of uh, the top, right? And then I'm going to paint this whole thing all the way around on here. But again, I'm going to use two different colors. I'm going to use this darker purple on the top and the base. And I'm going to use this beautiful light, eh, I wouldn't say it's Pepto-Bismol, but it's close paint on the sides. So all I'm going to do is uh, roll this, if I can get my roller to rolling, which it will eventually. But I'm just going to roll this on this material just like this. Thank you. 
Okay, Beaks, so as I told you, I went ahead and finished and I painted all of the sides, the colors that I wanted to. I painted uh, two boxes, this light uh, purple uh, mauve color, whatever it is, and then I painted one that's dark. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put all these boxes together and gather up all the pieces, and then I'm going to start assembling these boxes, and I'm going to make sure you see how to do this. Okay, Beaks, now that we got this painted, right, and ready to put this together, we're going to put this together from the bottom, working our way up. We're going to start at the baseboard, the bottom board, and we're going to work our way all the way up to the top. Now, what's cool about this whole system is all of the pieces are pre-marked. Uh, what I mean by this is your, each package of screws will tell you this is for the hive base. So you know that these screws will fit every component of the hive base, right? And then another good thing is, even when you look at the instruction book, it'll tell you where it goes. But because of the way this uh, um, polystyrene is made, it's indented. So every piece fits in just, just where it goes. So we're going to start at the bottom. We're going to use, these are the Varroa uh, uh, slide, slide tracks. So we're going to start right here. Now, as you see, they just fit right in place. All right, I'm going to put this in. Again, you can use a, uh, a screwdriver and just screw them in there, or you can use a drill, but if you use a drill, when you get to the end, just try to back off a little. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the aluminum perforated um, vented plate in here. This goes in the bottom. Now, the cool thing about this is it's made out of aluminum, so it's made to last a long, long time. So let me put the screws in here.
And the next piece that's going to go in there, this is the front tray. This is also can be, it can also be replaced by the integrated uh, pollen trap, which this feature is coming later. And you'll be able to acquire this and add this to your hive as well. But for now, we're going to put this plate in here. Okay. This piece right here is your entrance reducer. It's an integrated entrance reducer. It's built in. Alright. And it's gonna sit up just like this. These right here, these are your, your knobs that they actually hold down your um, entrance reducers. So you'll be able to lift this up and lock it in place so you can secure the bees if, you, if that's what you want to do. So on this one right here, I'm going to put a little glue on the inside. Because I want this to remain in place. Push that piece in. All right. All right, and this is what you have right here. And then you're gonna have your um, your RFI tag. These things are pretty cool because this is you can actually scan these tags, and you and it goes straight into your software, so you can monitor uh, your actual hives. So I'm going to go ahead on and put this pieces in here as well. You just simply slide them on as such. Everything is already pre-cut. It just fits perfectly. And then you take the screw and you screw it in. And it is done. So actually, I don't think I had any extra screws left. So this is your bottom board. This is what we have, right? If you had, uh, if you had your um, the pollen trap on here, this is where you'd have your knob, or you can pull it down and uh, lift it up. I'll show you one later. We actually have one on on site. So we'll put this here, and we'll start with the hive body. Right. Again, this system comes with three nine frame uh, hives, right? Each one of these hives are polystyrene and they're super, super strong, right? And they're six times more insulated than your traditional wooden uh, hive. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have all of the pieces. You have two long pieces, two short pieces. I painted all these yesterday. And then you want to make sure you have your tracks. These tracks are very important. You have two for the top and two for the bottom on each side. Right. And then the same thing for, for here. Two for the top and two for the bottom. I'm going to show you how to put these on. And also you want to make sure that you have uh, eight of these yellow pieces, these are your corner pieces. Four go on the bottom and four go on the top. I'm going to show you how to put each of those on as well. The first thing you want to do is you want to take the bigger of the two tracks and you want to slide it right over the top of the half. The top part. This is not, and again, you can't put it on uh, the wrong way. There's only one way you can put it on. It won't let you put it on the wrong way, right? So that, that is going to be pretty. So you just slide it. doesn't matter. You don't have to try to get it perfect because once you put your corners on, it's going to line the whole thing up. Then you want to take the smaller of the two tracks and you put it on the bottom. Again, you can't put it the wrong way. There's only one way that it can go. Look at that. Just slides right on. 
right? Then you have to do the same thing for your second one. Okay, like I said, don't worry about trying to align it. Once you put your corner pieces on, it's going to do it for you. All right. All right. Now, here's a cool thing. This is this is the part that I was telling you where you also need the glue. So, if you're looking inside of this hive, there are arrows that are pointed to the top. All right. There's arrows pointed to the top. And it's the same for the sides. So this is how you align everything with the arrows facing, pointing up. So the first thing you want to do is put a little glue inside these tracks down here. Right? And this is just your basic wood glue. Right? Now I just put a little right here as well. And then I'm going to take my two side pieces again, aligning the arrow right here with the arrow on the top. And I'm going to press it, press it down. Actually, before I do that, I need to put my corner pieces on because it's going to make it a lot easier. Uh, it's going to make it a lot easier to uh, secure this once we get it down here. So let me get these pieces on. All right. All you do is you take these pieces and you slide them in, making sure that the screw piece is facing inward. And you'll see why in just a second. Now this whole system is, is really designed um, for, the, for anyone to put together. All right, so then we're gonna, now we'll go ahead and slide these pieces on. They'll fit right into the corners just like this. You do the same thing with this piece. All right, then we're gonna take the second piece, do the same thing, I'm gonna put a little glue right here. Okay, we're not gonna do the same thing this time. We're gonna put the corners on this time. One. Like I said, the cool thing is you cannot make a mistake putting these pieces together. They only go on one way, right? And if you're able, if you get it on the other way, then you definitely need to reach out to Victor and let him know so he can uh, get a videotape of that one. All right. So the arrows are pointing up. Put our little our glue in. All right, and again, our arrows are pointed up here, so we're just gonna line these up and press down, all right? And this is how fast and easy this box goes together, all right? And you don't have to worry about getting a square and squaring them up or anything. So again, these are high body screws. They're, they're uh, labeled so you can mistake them for the other ones. Once you get this piece on, right, you're going to take this, the bottom piece, which is the flat one. This one is the, the most, a little difficult to get on out of the, out of the two. So you want to push it down. You want to push it down so that the corner, it goes right against this plastic piece right here on both ends. And then you want to just press it down. There we go. 
My wife says I always grunt whenever I do this, but it could have something to do with uh, my uh, my workout this morning. Sometimes, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Just like she said, you hear it snap, and you know it's secure. Right? Then you flip it back over this side, and then you put the same thing with the top piece. You put the father's piece out, and it just snaps right on. So if you try to put it on like this, it's not going to fit. Again, it only goes on one way. All right, this box, this box is together. It's actually pieced together. So this is what we got so far. Last but not least, we're gonna do the top, right? So when you do the top, you wanna start with the polystyrene face down. All right, just like this, and you want to put the long pieces on, and again, they just fit right into place, right? And then when you screw them down, it's going to tuck this thing in, it's going to hold it just the way it's supposed to be. Then you can actually you can actually push these down, push the short end down as well. Fits right into place. All right, and again, there's a package of screws for these as well. It says hot top. So let's go ahead and uh, put the screws in. Once you get all the screws in, you're going to turn this over and you're going to glue this. This may not be in a book, but you're going to glue the top to uh, this piece of metal, the pressed metal. And you want to use some type of uh, adhesive glue like uh, liquid nails or some type of uh, compound of silicone that you can use that we know that will stick. So I'm going to make sure that I get enough of this all the way around When you press this down, this glue is going to spread and it's going to create a, a really good um, adhesive stick. So you, you just put enough on the inside and then the rest is pretty much going to take care of itself. Now I would tell you if you don't, if you don't put glue on here, there's a chance that this could start warping because it'll pop up. It won't, it won't, um, seal correctly. Just line up the B and the letter. 
Yep. Yep. So what you're going to do, once you get your glue on, you're going to line up the high by Q with the high by Q on here. Right? And then you just push it right on top and you press it down. Right? So I'm going to put something on here tonight and just let it sit as it, as it dry. Uh, but, oh, hold up. One last thing. We forgot the queen excluder. The queen excluder is pretty cool because it fits right inside of your hive. Right? So no more does it sit on the outside to stop in the hive from locking. You see this piece right here allows it to, uh, for a perfect seal. So moisture or, in or insects or anything cannot get inside of this hive. So this one is going to go between your brew box and your super. And my brother was, he was gifted with the uh, height, and I just got a good look, so I just accepted that. And this is what you have. This is what you have. All right, Beaks, we're going to talk in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit more about each of these features and uh, how well this hive actually performs, because we actually have one out that we have bees in. So till next time, see you later. Thank you for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more beekeeping videos.